Well, it was, uh, uh, you know, it's obviously a, a, the focus is going to come down to the last three outs, and um, obviously Josh Reagan was terrific. Um, we made it very difficult on ourselves and, and not um, fielding, uh, handling the bunt situation the right way. Um, and uh, I'll certainly take responsibility for that. And Jock pick, picked everybody up and threw some terrific pitches to the meat of their lineup with the bases loaded and nobody out. Uh, we could probably replay that scenario 100 times with the base loaded and nobody out and then Nick Senzel coming to the plate. And out of the 100 times, they would get at least one run, probably 99 times. And uh, Josh just made some great pitches and um, got some really good hitters out with the game on the line. Uh, we played great defense for the most part outside of those bunts. We played great defense. Mooney made some terrific plays, double play uh, to keep the game in check. And uh, if you pitch and you play defense, you have a chance to win some games and you have the opportunity to win. And, uh, and that kept us in the game. And then Alex got the big hit uh, there at, at, in the eighth. And uh, we held on. Uh, it was an extremely competitive series. Uh, if we'd have lost that game today, I would have sat up here and, and said that we were very, very fortunate to win the series. Um, I, I feel we are even more than very, very fortunate to have won three games. Uh, Tennessee's very, very uh, a scrappy bunch and especially good in, uh, from a hitting standpoint and approach standpoint. And uh, we did just enough. And uh, hopefully come Tuesday, uh, you know, we'll be a team that's 100% healthy and ready to go for the stretch run. When, when the bases are loaded there, do you, big picture scenario, do you think about you know getting all three outs, or do you try to manage the situation just getting out of there with a with a tie game, or, or what's kind of the? Well, I, I kept the infield back in the middle, just hoping for a double play in a tie game, and uh, and then we got one out, and then you got to play for the double play, just you know in the middle. I, you're at home, you play for. Now if it's on the road, I'd have probably brought the infield in. Um, you know, but base hit through the hole, two run score. And when you're at home, if one run scores, the game's not over. And uh, heck, the game wouldn't be over if they scored two. We still get a chance to hit. We were just trying to min minimize the damage as best we could. Uh, but I, man, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I mean, you got to make some really, really good pitches. And for Reagan to have the courage. To throw a 3 2 changeup with nobody out, the bases loaded, the best hitter in the country. I can coach a long time, guys, and I'll never have a guy be able to do that. Uh, I mean, maybe the last time Roth could do it. I mean, I, that's, I, I'm at a loss for words for the courage to do that. And uh, um, that was the only way we win the game, is for him to throw his best pitch in a count in a situation when he couldn't throw a ball to the best hitter in the country. And um, you got to have players with courage to win games like that. And fortunately, you know, I got a few that's, that's got tons of courage. You know, with Alex, after sitting for over a week, to be able to come in there in that press situation and get the hit, um, how, how, how impressive was that? You know, Alex, uh, <laughs> I think that was the first time our fans started cheering was when Destino got in the batter's box. Um, it was kind of a quiet park today. And uh, we were going for a sweep, and heck, we're sitting up here, you know, 27 and 5. And it just, I want our fans to participate a little bit more, make it harder on our opponents. But they got it going in the eighth when Alex stood up there. And, uh, and then they got it going in the ninth when, you know, when our, when our uh, backs were against the wall. Uh, but but Al Alex is. Uh, I just needed to give him one more day, I thought, just because uh, it, he he just wasn't quite a hundred percent. But he was hitting them in the road in BP today now. And uh, but again, I, I, I we got a lot more games to play, and uh, I've been very conservative with how I've handled him uh, in this injury. And I think uh, come Tuesday, he'll be a hundred percent ready to go. Scott and then Matt. 
I guess uh, I guess the, the top of the ninth inning today sort of epitomized how the series went. By my count, Tennessee had uh, had uh, 35 runners left on base in the series. I think 16 on Friday. Um, I think they had eight yesterday and then 11, 11 today. So I mean, it seemed like your pitchers did a good job pitching out of jams well, all the weekend long. You look at it. Uh, you know, when you're on the other side of that, you're mad at your hitters uh, for not stepping up with people out there. When you're on our side of it. You got to throw your best pitches uh, with the game on the line with people out there. If you're going to win the games that are in the balance, the games that are tough, if you're going to win those, you got to throw your best pitches and you got to compete and bow your neck and throw your best stuff in there when the opponent's threatening. And uh, we did that. We did it all weekend long. And uh, our pitching staff was incredible. Um, and we just try, our, we take a lot of pride and make it very difficult on our opponents to score. And I thought a couple times this weekend we didn't make it hard enough. Um, but today we sure did. And, um, and that enabled us to accomplish a special feat uh, and, and winning three games in a row. And all three games were essentially in the balance late in the game. Uh, so I'm proud of my team uh, for, for playing extremely well in the clutch uh, with the games on the line and big SEC games on the line. So I'm, I'm up here. Uh, and all a little bit of, of my guys for the way they competed in battle today. I, I'm, I'm awfully proud of them. At 10-2 in the SEC in first place, do you feel like the fans have bought into this team maybe the way you thought that they think they should or think that um, they would? You know, I think we've made a lot of people happy. Uh, and I think that, you know, but again, we've played 33 games. Um, but it's not as loud as I want it to be. Um, it's not – it's not the atmosphere I want in this stadium yet, um, you know. And, and and I'm not being critical of that. It's we, we, this program and and our fan base. We're awfully blessed. Um, recruits want to come play here because of the atmosphere our fans create. And uh, we, we need to we can make it awfully hard on opponent on an opponent. And uh, um, I don't know if we're making it as hard as we can, you know, from an atmosphere standpoint. Um, as far as how loud it's been until the game's on the line. But but that's me being picky. I, I love our – our fans are incredible. I mean, they, they 7,000 people every game. Our season ticket holders are incredible. Um, but it's much easier for us to win when you can't hear yourself think. And uh, I felt it was a little quiet today. This is my opinion. With uh, this, with Destino coming out, uh, he he went the other way on on a slider. It, it looked like. Um, were, were you pleased with his approach up there? And you know, good to see him not go up there and try to do too much. Well, I was trying to wait for the right spot, and uh, I didn't want him to put him up there in a nobody on situation down a run because he was going to try to hit a home run, and 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 he's a little sore. Uh, and I tried to, you know, luckily the spot came up when we needed a single. And uh, and the pitcher was throwing the ball the other way, and he used the whole field. And and, and it was a great piece of hitting. Uh, you know, a lot of people put the shift on Alex from a pull standpoint because he pulls a lot of pitches because he wants to do damage and hit the ball out of the park or in the gap. But today he, he, he used the whole field. It's a beautiful piece of hitting uh, against a guy with a good off-speed pitch. He stayed right on it. And uh, hit a line drive into left field. So, uh, and he did it with the game on the line. I, I'm proud of him. He wanted to play today. He wanted to start. He begged me to play, but I, I, I just uh, he couldn't quite throw the ball to the cutoff man, and 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 it, and it not worry me that we, you know, it, it aggravated anymore. So, uh, we'll 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 get him a couple of good days of treatment, and uh, hopefully he'll be 100% ready to go for the for the you know for the rest of the season. Just on the North Carolina game a little bit, just I guess how excited are you for your team to get a chance to play a quality opponent in a good stadium like this, and then particularly well, North Carolina? Well, I think it's just going to be a sellout. I think it's going to be great for college baseball. Uh, I know our, a lot of our fans have bought tickets and, uh, and plan on going up to Charlotte to see that venue and see us play against a really, really great team. And, uh, you know, I, I'm hopeful North Carolina and South Carolina play every year. Uh, I, you know, you have two marquee programs. Uh, two programs that have been the College World Series shoot. Uh, I don't a lot of times, and, and a lot of times recently. And uh, and 
I think it's great for our sport. It's great for our two programs, and um, it's. Uh, I'm sure our players will be very excited about getting on the bus and going up there on Tuesday, and I'm sure North Carolina's players will be excited about getting on the bus, and that's what makes it great. Um, but you know, it, we can just relax and play because you got everything to win there and not much to lose. We've played very well up to this point, and. Um, Let's go play a marquee opponent, uh, two teams having a really, really good year. And uh, I think it's great for the sport. I, I think it's great for college baseball. And uh, I'm just, I, I'm just, uh, I just think North and South Carolina should play every year. And, and more than just baseball, a lot of sports, but that's not my, that's my deal. I got a follow up on your comment about, I guess, with uh, the bases loaded and stuff with the plate, 99 point percent chance of scoring. So which situation had a, had, a, had a more likely chance to score? Florida bases loaded in the, in the World Series? or, or the Say that again now. Which, I mean, situation, which situation was uh, was more likely to score, I guess? Uh, oh, in the World Series? <laughs> when Florida had the base load in the College World Series? Hey, we've and, had some good well, – I think you get out of situations like that when you have guys with makeup like Reagan and Price. And uh, and they just believe. They just believe. And, and – um, I don't, guys, I, I, I don't know how to explain that. I, I, obviously, you have to have good fortune, and you have to have tough players that will make pitches with the game on the line, and you got to have incredible players make great defensive plays. And um, I, I, <laughs> that's a Houdini act. Uh, that's what happened today. I, I, I mean, it's – I can sit there. I'm a, I'll, I won't sleep tonight just thinking about what – how how, do we, how did he – how did – I'm telling you, as a coach, and I hate to belabor this point, to throw a 3-2 off-speed pitch with the base loaded and you're down a run to the best hitter in the country, I can't explain. That's the, about as much courage as you can possibly have on a baseball field. Because obviously Nick thought a fastball was coming. Probably everybody, if you had to pick, you probably thought a fastball was coming. And, uh, and you know, tip of the cap to Josh Reagan is all I can say. I mean, it was a beautiful, beautiful piece of pitching. Chad, some coaches don't like to play their alma mater. Uh, has it ever been an issue for you? Are you all right? I mean, clearly, you're all right with it. What? How so? Well, it's not about me. Um, it's about the University of North Carolina and the University of South Carolina. And uh, when you have two great programs, uh, I just think they should play. And, um, you know, I mean, obviously, I spent shoot, 18 or 19 years there. Uh, I've, I, my two kids were born there. Um, I have. A lot of great friends there, both in the sport of baseball and, and, you know, obviously out of the sport of baseball. But it's not about Chad Holbrook or a coach or – it's about South Carolina's players and North Carolina's players, their program and our program. Two great programs play each other. And I'm um, – I'm, uh, I can check my ego at the door and step aside and uh, let that atmosphere kind of – come to the forefront because I think ultimately it's great for their program, it's great for our program, and it's great for college baseball. And uh, so I could, you know, it doesn't bother me in regards to you know, that being my alma mater. Marcus said some wins like this weekend could give a team some swagger, and he feels like the team is, is, has a swagger about itself right now. Do you kind of sense that, and have you seen that kind of grow throughout the year? Well, I do think my, our, our kids think they're going to win. I think they have a winning attitude, a competitive – they feel like they're going to find a way to win. You know, it's not always going to go your way in baseball, but if you believe it and uh, you have good feeling and you feel like something positive is going to happen, it certainly gives you a better chance. Um, but, you know, we're going to take our lumps. We're, we're, we're not the perfect – we're not a juggernaut by any stretch. Um, but we've got some gritty guys that compete and battle. And we play defense and we throw strikes. And, uh, and then you couple that with some toughness and some character, um, you have a chance to win. And – you know, I will say this about my team, and uh, and I've coached. I'm going on 20 some years now. This is about as uh, I got a lot of character in that locker room, and um, and I'm, I'm talking about not just here. I'm talking about when they're not here. Um, they are. They have been a uh, up to this point. I don't want to jinx them, but up to this point, boy, they've handled their business. They've been responsible. And they conduct themselves in a first-class manner and represent our program the right way. And ultimately, I think that helps them win games.